Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is Thinking in Stability and Change, Level 2, Change in Systems. When you're investigating systems, the first thing that you all want to do is you'll always want to define the system that you're investigating. And what we're going to be looking at are stable systems. Those are systems that are not changing very much. We'll then be looking at how change can occur in a system. How can we have a stable system that becomes unstable? And what we'll really be digging into is the specifics of a system. How can change in one component of a system lead to change in the whole system? And so the object that represents stability and change is going to be this yellow semicircle because it can change quite a bit and it also can remain the same over time. So after watching this video you should be able to identify stable systems and how changes in one component can affect the whole system in something like this cobra weave. It's a chain reaction in popsicle sticks or in an ecosystem when we remove a keystone species like a wolf. I'm going to start by showing you my thinking around change in systems as we dig into uh, Don't Spill the Penny Jar. It's a, it's a little game. And then we could look at Jenga. So let me clean this up and get started. And so we're going to play this game called Don't Spill the Penny Jar. Um, it's really just a modified version of Don't Spill the Beans. You have this jar, so this is a penny jar. And then you have to add pennies to the top, and hopefully you don't make it tip. And so I'm going to define what the system is. So the system that we're trying to figure out is don't spill the penny jar. And this is a system that is relatively stable at this point. If I push it back and forth, it's just going to return to kind of a steady state. It's not going to change much at all. And so what we're going to start seeing is how is it that changes in the components of this system, small parts of the system, can lead to changes in the entire system. So the way it's set up is you'll start with some pennies. We could start with just four pennies kind of on the start. And then you're going to alternate back and forth. And so this person could put a penny on and we could see that there's no change in the system. Then it could be the person on the left, they could put a penny on. There's not much change in the system. Then we could add a penny on the right. And we can see that the whole system becomes unstable. And so let me get this out of the way and I'll show you what happened as we were playing that game. And so if our system is don't spill the penny jar, what we had was change in one component of that system. And so what was the change? So the change in the component is that one penny was added. So this component, remember, is a big part of a system. And so if we think about what changed in the overall system of don't spill the penny jar. So as we added penny one, there's no change in the overall system. So there's not much change within the system. What happened next is we added penny two. What was the change in the system? So add we, as we added penny two, there was a slight change in the system. You saw it start to tip just a little bit. But what happened is we eventually added penny three. And when we added penny three, then we got a big change in the system. And I'm just showing this on a bigger box or a bigger block. So when penny three was added, then the entire penny jar tips over. I'm putting this under system because that jar didn't only contain one penny, it contained all the pennies that it had before as well as all the parts of the system. And so what I'm trying to show with this is that you can have small changes in a component of a system that lead to small change in the system, but occasionally you can have small change in one part of the system that leads to massive change in the overall system. So what I'm going to do is clean this off and then I'm going to introduce a new phenomena, so the game of Jenga, and you're going to try to do a similar thing. Okay, for the second example, we're going to play a just miniature version of the game Jenga. In the game of Jenga, you have to remove one of the pieces or the blocks from the tower and then add it to the top. And so I'm going to establish what is the system that we're investigating. So the system that we're investigating is going to be this Jenga tower. So it's this stable system. It's relatively stable. And so what I'm going to do is just play a quick game of Jenga, having to remove one from the bottom and then place it on the top. So I'm going to remove this block here. And there's not much change. 
let's see, I could remove ooh, this block here. There's not much change. I could remove that block right there. Not much change. And then I try to remove that final block and we have big change. So let me clean this up. Um, but before I do that, could you pause the video and show me your thinking? Again, I was able to remove three blocks, move them to the top, and the fourth block made it fall. So all I want you to do is pause the video, try to figure out what's the change in the components, what's the overall change in the system. Unpause the video, come back, and we'll see how our thinking kind of compares. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just identify what happened in the change in the component and what happened in the overall change of the system. So when I removed block one is a component of the system, what was the change? There was really no change at all. Um, now I'm going to go through and then show the other components and the system changes as well. So to summarize what I saw happening, I moved, I removed block one and there was really no change in the overall tower of the Jenga tower. I then removed block two, there was no change. I removed block three and there was slight movement. If I remember right, there was just one block that started to move. And then finally I removed block four and then what happened? So when I removed block four, then the entire tower fell. And so what am I trying to show with this? That in a system, a complex system that, that can be very stable, if you change specific components, that eventually can lead to change in the system itself. So that's me showing you my thinking around a couple of games. What I'd love to have you do is there's some thinking slides below. You could do the same thing with this Cobra weave of a popsicle chain reaction and then dig into this, which is the removal of a keystone species uh, from an ecosystem. And you should be thinking about what happened and then how did that affect the overall system? So that is uh, level two, thinking instability and change, change in systems, and I hope that was helpful.